Hello everyone! For this short video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa partial derivatives. Ano nga ba ang isang partial derivative at paano siya gawain? A partial derivative is done by taking the derivative of a certain variable while considering other variables as constant. Para lang siyang normal na pagkuha ng derivative, yung mga rules natin still applies kaso nga lang, specific lang tayo sa isang variable and then the rest, yung iba, kinoconsider lang natin sila as constant. For the notation, we represent partial derivative as this is our symbol para lang siyang number 6 na nakabaliktad. So this is the partial derivative of our function f with respect to x. Kinukuha natin yung partial derivative niya with respect to x. Kapag kakaiway naman, this is the partial derivative of our function f with respect to y, and then kapag kakay-z naman, this is the partial derivative of our function f with respect to z. Ngayong familiar na tayo dun sa notation, let us apply this concept sa isang example. Let us evaluate the following partial derivatives given the function f of x and y is equal to x squared y plus 5xy plus y squared. Ito yung kukuha na natin ng partial derivative. So first, let's start with our partial derivative of our function with respect to x. Again, with respect to x, ang kukuhanan lang natin ng derivative ay si x. Yung ibang variable, in our case yung y, ititreat natin sila as constant. Then, getting its partial derivative with respect to x, this is equal to the partial with respect to x ng ating function. Since the operation between our terms is addition, then we can apply our sum and difference rule of differentiation. Pwede natin kuhana ng derivative ng magkakahiwalay. So let's start with our first term. Meron tayong x squared y. Again, kinukuha natin yung derivative with respect to x. So ito lang yung kukuhana natin ng derivative si y ay si constant. So what is the derivative of our x squared? That is 2x. Kinuha natin siya yung derivative 2x and then imumultiply lang natin yung y kasi tinitreat natin siya as a constant. And then, for our 5xy, ang constant natin ay si 5 at si y. And then, hiniwalay natin sila. And then, yung derivative ng x, that is just equal to 1. Kaya to ay naging 5 times 1 times y. And then, for our third term, we are getting the partial derivative with respect to x. Kaso, wala tayong x dito. So, this y squared, we treat this as a constant. And what is the derivative of a constant? That is just equal to 0. Then we simplify 2x times y, this is just 2xy plus 5 times 1 times y, that is 5y. This is the partial derivative of our function with respect to x. Then, let us proceed with our partial derivative with respect to y. Kunin ulit natin yung given natin na function, eto. So, ang gagawin natin, i-isolate muna natin si x squared sa unang term natin and what is the derivative of y? That is just 1. Kaya, this is just x squared times 1. Again, x squared, our x is just a constant. Kasi we are getting the partial derivative with respect to y. Then for this part, 5 and x, we treat them as constants. Derivative of y, that is still 1. Kaya, eto ay multiplied to 1. And then yung y squared natin, what is the derivative of y squared? Babalang natin si exponent applying power rule of differentiation. So this is 2y. And then, yung exponent natin bawasan ng isa, kaya ito yung ating derivative. Then, we simplify x squared times 1, that is just equal to x squared, 5x times 1, that is 5x, and this is just 2y. And this is the partial derivative of our function with respect to y. And that's it for partial differentiation. Again, kinukuha lang natin yung derivative nung isang function with respect to a specific variable while the rest of the variables we treat them as constants. Music